Francis Fran Allen was born in Peru, New York, on August 4, 1932. There she grew up on a dairy farm with no modern amenities. Yet her parents emphasized the importance of education, for example, buying her and her siblings a children's encyclopedia. Fran received her bachelor's at Albany State Teachers College, which is now a part of the State University of New York. She graduated with a degree in mathematics in 1954, then taught at the high school in Peru that she originally graduated from. After two years of teaching, Fran realized she'd have to get a master's degree in order to be fully considered a teacher, so she went to the University of Michigan. At this point, Fran was deeply in student debt. As she puts it, IBM came on campus and I joined IBM. She only intended to pay off her debt and return to her original teaching job at her high school, but ended up working at IBM for 45 years. One of her first jobs, as someone with teaching experience, was to teach scientists at IBM a new programming language, Fortran. The scientists protested against the use of Fortran, as all programming languages up to that point were slower than code written by hand. Yet, the scientists slowly shifted over to using Fortran as their complaints were ill-founded. Still, Fran took the scientists' protest to heart, as she was one of the programmers on the Fortran team. She spent the rest of her career optimizing the code output by a compiler. Before we go any further, I'll give you a brief introduction on how programming languages work, at least the ones Fran later worked on, in order to take the language from how it is written to a form that the computer can understand, we need a compiler. A compiler usually consists of several stages of transformations, eventually getting to assembly language, the form that the scientists were originally working in. Fran worked on created compilers that create assembly language that is faster than code that a human could write by hand. By analyzing the programming language as a graph, something first introduced by Fran, the compiler would be able to identify certain subsections of the graph that could be transformed into something that would be faster. Fran later extended this concept into a structuring method that allows for compilers to automatically create parallel code. This makes it easier for programmers to create programs that can use all the available processing power in your multi-core processor. Fran is currently working on collecting the history of her earlier projects, mentoring young researchers, especially women, and climbing literal mountains. <laughs>